Hello YouTube, welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. This is going to be game number two between Showtime and Uthermal. And uh, we're going to see how this one plays out. It's going to be a Protoss versus Terran, the rarest matchup on my channel, because of course there's unfortunately not, not that many of them. Scores are going to be displayed at about one minute into the game, including the bracket of what we're doing like at the moment. So of course if you haven't seen the previous games, you are, or the previous game, you would be doing a crime to not see it, because it was... A very, very interesting one and quite a unique game, I have to say, so far. So, let's introduce some players. On the bottom left-hand side here, we've got Uthermo, spawning as the Red Terran. He's from Team 80 Gaming and Netherlands. His opponent is going to be Showtime. Showtime is the blue Protoss here, spawning, <laughs> spawning on the bottom top right-hand side. Team Millennium, and he's from Germany. Score is about to be displayed, of course, so of course, if you haven't... I, I'm going to keep saying of course until I stop saying it because... I have to get it out of my system, okay? Right. Um, top right hand side here, and uh, scores are going to be put up now. So we're currently at 1 in favor of Uthermal. And of course, if you haven't switched over, if you're of course watching this as a video on demand later on, then that means that uh, you have just been spoiled. Because Uthermal, with his ghost play in the last game, was the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Ever. So let's see how this one plays out. Looks like we've got ourselves... Okay, interesting enough. Everything quite standard here, just one barracks, and he, interestingly enough, going for a reactor in this one. So there's no Reaper, there's no... There's no Marines or anything like that at the start. Just going straight for the reactor, which suggests to me that he might go for the 1-1-1 one, one, one start. What is he doing here? Just blocking this off. Second, or first expansion coming out. see two marines are on the way there's an expansion there's no factory put down just yet oh there it is so factory is on the way looks like a 111 build is on the way destiny cloud fist second gas also on the way so question is going to be here of course what kind of harassment is he going to do is he going to just do a four mar uh, eight marine drop? Is he going to do a Widowmine six marine drop? Or is he going to do a Banshee play? Honestly, I don't really expect Banshee play. It's not something that we see very often. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if this dude, right now, if he just moves, he just ignores Showtime and he just goes, okay, well, screw you, I'm going to go Battlecruisers because why not? At about, you know, seven, eight minutes into the game. This looks like we've got a Stargate on the way for Showtime. So three minutes target. This is just about lining up for perfect timing to have the Oracle in his opponent's base at about four and a half minutes. Let's see. There's six six Marines against one Adept, and he nope. He is gonna have to uh, back on with those. Adept is a little bit faster. Scan scene. Pretty much everything that's going on. Obviously, gonna see the target. Now, one thing I've I've noticed that pro players tend to not do is use scans for 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 seeing sorry energy on the command center for scans now it might seem okay obvious that you're doing that for mules blah 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 blah. but then thinking about consider uh, uh, english is not working right now thinking of how important scouting is it's quite strange that you could have a terran player who is essentially outplayed because he wasn't prepared for some specific tech but realistically, they could have easily spawned, or saw that, by simply scanning for it. So let's see how this one uh, is going to play out. He did scout out the the uh, Stargate. He's going to notice that there's something coming out of it, and it's most likely an Oracle when there's just one. And Phoenix coming out straight after. There isn't a Depth on the way. And a Cyclone being used here as well. The Cyclone lock-on ability, I find, is so freaking amazing. Oh, is he going to lose the Cyclone to the Oracle? Oracle going straight for it. He's not focusing it down and manages to lose it to the Cyclone. Or the Cyclone loses to the Oracle. And these Marines starting to work through this Nexus as well. Is he going to be able to hold it off? He doesn't have a whole lot. He does have one Oracle, but this Oracle would drop dead instantly.
And he's decided to stop attacking it. That's definitely interesting. I would probably go back onto the Nexus. It makes more sense that way. Uh, maybe he... Oh, I see. He, he probably wanted it to complete so that it's not going to actually get cancelled. Just scaring away that Phoenix. Obviously, he doesn't want to uh, lose the Liberator. But there we go. Managing to deny a, the, um, the Nexus pretty early on. That's actually quite good. This early aggression paying off nicely. This Oracle just sitting there waiting. I'm just going to predict here that in a few moments it's going to go and attack the middle line and I'm probably going to miss it. But that's quite fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, there it is. It's doing something. It's actually just standing inside the base doing nothing, so... Oracle, what are you doing? Let's see. Looks like the Liberator. Oh my god, it's actually so nicely positioned over this middle line. And these workers are like, well, screw this. This is like, you know, I'm, I'm in some, you know, war zone and... You know, it's quite normal having bombs flying over my head, and 19 workers have been taken out so far. Honestly, I'm thinking that U-Thermal, looking in quite a strong position to take this game as well. Losing that Cyclone for free, unfortunately, but... Doing quite good. Oracle getting locked on there. And there we go, GG has been called U-Thermal. Taking game number two here as well. Bringing the score up to 2-0 in his favor. It's quite good one, I actually have to say. That, that was some good aggression at the very beginning. Nice and... Uh, Aggressive. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the puns are terrible in this one. This is going to be the worst cast for puns ever. And that is pretty much it for game number two. Uthermal taking this again with some good marine and cyclone aggression throughout that game. I hope you have, of course, enjoyed it. And thank you so much for making it towards the end of this video. Don't forget to follow me on social media links where I post every single time that I upload a video. And also... My schedule is currently displayed up at the top of my channel, so when you go on the main channel page, you're going to see that there is three scheduled videos. I release a video right on those times, exactly, and there is both the the, uh, the EST time and, and the uh, GMT time, which is the European time. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Good luck, take care. I'll see you guys in game number three.